I've been in the data center for almost the last 30 years. We used to have data center space like uh, the rack is like um, one kilowatt, two kilowatt, and surprisingly now people are going for like 30 kilowatts. And we see a lot of challenges that people are facing. Wow, I had the power cooling issues, I had the cooling issues. How are we going to cater to support this uh, server that's hungry for power and cooling? If we don't look at this demand today, as the servers are moving and changing, we are faced with a lot of all these cooling issues. What do you think the data center industry can do? Yeah, I think as we are facing with the power and cooling, uh, we need to really look into the innovations. Uh, we know that the industry in, in, in the region today, we are looking into like liquid cooling technology innovations. We talk about the thermal collections and so on, that we can actually uh, use this to reuse all the energies and so on, to cool all this equipment and so on. I think it's like liquid cooling example. If I have liquid cooling onto the servers, eventually I may think that in the next five to ten years, if we had the right innovations, you will be surprised, you know, we may not need any aircon in the data centers. With uh, liquid cooling uh, through, for example, like cold plates on high end server, we are not restricted to even like the current 42U, 45U per rack, due to because we don't need the external cooling at all. We can actually maximize the data center space for as long as power allows, even probably almost touching the ceiling. So really we need to look into more innovative solution on how we can actually reuse the energy or whatever so that we can actually make the cooling more efficiency without taking up more power. If I can actually save more power energies, I think that will actually allow us to have more data centers with lesser power and so on and also to make the data center more efficient. And if you look around within our data center industries itself, what we know are all the old faces that we come by, work together for many, many years. Think about today, we have something like 40 to 50 data centers. I see that our professionals are moving like musical chairs. So we feel that there's a lack of the data center professional in Singapore. Local uh, data center Yeah, local data center especially. So it's something that we need to improve. And you can see that data center become, it's not just a data center. It's actually a very critical infrastructure for us. It's actually an enabler to me to run your business. Without the data center, there's no way we can run with the technology today. We rely on that. So we really need to have very strong and competent teams to manage and sustain our data center for resiliency purposes and so on. Mm -hmm.